Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EIK WM France Deck G456 game with Fofo, Quatinins, and Shoot. Um, looking at this first pile, uh, Village Elder is pretty good. Wood collector is good. Part time builder is good. Um, definitely the pick is village elder or wood collector. And since it's first pick, no one else has seen it. I think I'm taking village elder here. I can try to craft a nice village elder game. What am I getting back here? Maybe cheapskate. Cheapskate would be fine for village elder. Yeoman farmer works fine with village elder. Yeah. Looks solid. Just waiting a little bit for uh, other players to make their first decisions. Okay, well, I think Borrower is pretty good. Um, I think Trailblazer is pretty good. I think Giant is fine. Hoarder is... Okay, I've come down on Hoarder recently. Uh, I probably don't want to take Hoarder here considering I have Village Elder. I'd rather put my building resources into improvements. I did say I want to take Borrower more aggressively. So Village Elder plus Borrower, pretty good incentive to do a Nur FG game. And then I'm getting back maybe Puppeteer, maybe Hoarder, maybe Trailblazer. I should get something pretty playable back. Borrower is not committal in any one particular direction, so... Haberdasher plus Trailblazer go nicely together. Like, I could take Trailblazer and then all my so actions become so plus a minor improvement, which is not bad with Village Elder. So it's actually so plus bake, or so plus plow plus minor improvement, which is a pretty solid action overall. Um, so I could go that way. Maybe I should. Question is if I don't get crop support and if Haberdasher doesn't come back, then it's it's not so worthwhile. But Haberdasher makes it work on its own. So yeah, let's try that. We'll take Trailblazer here. Hopefully we get something good back. Either Haberdasher or Borrower. Um, hmm. I think we take Reeve here. Quality of the cards has been pretty high. If we family growth a bunch of times, then we have a pretty good way to play a whole bunch of cards. Um, I like Mailman. I think I could maybe take Branch Collector with Village Elder, but I'm pretty sure Reeve is just the pick. And then we get Pickler, so we can get kind of silly here and just play three four wood occupations, which, yeah, seems pretty silly. Um, I haven't gotten any vegetable support yet, but Trailblazer plus Haberdasher is certainly uh, generic crop support. If I do get anything that provides a vegetable, then it would end up being pretty solid.
Just uh, writing in the description for the VOD on the last game. Well, Yeoman Farmer came back. Stone Baron came back. Don't know if I love Yeoman Farmer here. Yeoman Farmer would let me ignore animals and go all in on occupations, improvements, and crops. Which might be fine. Thing is, taking animals are good. Or we just take Stone Baron here and get stone, which supports our village elder. Yeah. We'll take Stone Baron, sure. This is, this is ambitious, putting a lot of global points out there, but uh, it's going to be hard for people to out-efficient me, out efficiency me if I go for the first room because I'm going to have two amazing four uh, or three amazing four wood actions, and then I should just have a lot of actions generally. Um, Where are my key miners from last game? Oh, there's Borrower. This is an easy, easy Borrower pick. I was already thinking about picking him second. Yeah, this card is undervalued. Uh, Puppeteer or Giant? I could consider Puppeteer to play seven occupations, but if I play Reeve, people are gonna really ignore traveling players. And uh, Giant is not bad. But it's not better than Borrower here, I don't think. Look at the last game. What were my key miners? Foreign Labor, Ox Team. Yeah, I guess those were pretty good. Oh, South Pole Explorer, I forgot about that. So that one's going up now. Uh, is closed farms going to close every farm? Yes, it does close every farm. <laughs> it just searches for farm tiles generally and then closes all of them. Uh, Master Shepherd looks like the pick here. With Reeve, you're really looking for any occupation that's worth any sort of points like that can replace any action and master shepherd replaces a two or three sheep action so solid okay Ooh. Oh, Haberdasher didn't come back. Good to remember. I got Borrower back instead of Haberdasher. Okay, uh, well, Grain Card is quite good. And with Stone Baron, I could build the Stone Oven fairly easily. Uh, turn Rest Plow is quite good. Although with Trailblazer, they're kind of overlapping a little bit. And I do want to play Trailblazer since I have Reeve in hand. Um... Granary I like. Granary is quite solid and I have no source of grain yet. So the question is kind of granary or grain cart. Um, do we take granary here? Granary is quite good. Although grain cart, you can do it twice. Granary, you don't have to use an action. Uh, let's go for granary here. I think granary is really good. 
No, you know what? Green cart's the better card. I should take green cart. Is it? Oh. Let's take granary. Okay, clay worker shop. One wood plus one clay to four food. Uh, no thanks. Rotten plow, no thanks. Prize squash is good, although with pickler, I don't really have a source of vegetables yet, so I don't really want to necessarily eat a bunch of them. Uh, wild fruit looks good. Wild fruit plus granary equals three food. Yep. Yeah, it looks like I'm not getting something too great back here, but wild fruit looks uh, perfectly acceptable. Man, someone took Haberdasher. What month? Oh, wow. We got Broom. Yeah. Well, not taking Probiotic Food because I never want to discard it for its effect because I want to play Village Elder stuff. Same with Boar Breeding. Same with Stonehouse Extension. Broom is a two for one with Village Elder. So, yeah. Broom is just easily the pick here. Broom's a good card to begin with, so. Okay, so. Our stage one, uh, we have Stone Baron, so we can build the well if we want to force the well out. I wonder if we should use Stone Baron to go towards a Stone Oven, though, or a Clay Oven. Um, we're, we're probably playing... Like, everyone knows about Reeve and Pickler, so I kind of feel like we can play Reeve and Pickler in Stage 1. Village Elder we could maybe hold on to a little later. We have Borrower, which we're pretty happy with. So we like... There's a lot of actions that we like here. Uh, should I take Reed Exchange? I feel like with three four-wood occupations, I should probably take Reed Exchange and think about building two rooms at once. Now, if I do that, it's going to be difficult for me to play Granary. Unless I get a nice clay action or another nice wood action. Full bottom Dwig is fine. Pull Barns is pretty good, but it comes after Broom, so I'm not playing it. So the question is really just, something's getting discarded here. Should I take F Fishing Rod to maybe play as a played card, or do I take Reed Exchange... And I maybe don't even play it and throw it away with Broom. And if that's the case, I'm really not too sad about that. And Grain Cart came back. Uh, well, the, whoever gets Grain Cart is going to compete with me for the ovens. So I could take Grain Cart here. And if I throw it away, I throw it away. The other card I'm looking at is Bread Paddle, thinking if I play seven occupations, setting up a baking game, and then, you know, baking a bunch could be nice. But Trailblazer gets me a bunch of bake moves too, so, yeah. Not taking Schnapps when I want to have... I don't want to pay the vegetable for Schnapps with Pickler in hand. Although it does pay off for having going over and above on vegetables, but I still haven't seen a vegetable source yet. So it's possible my opponents are hoarding them. And if they are, maybe that's a point in favor of not playing Pickler. But with Reeve, I'm pretty sure it's worth paying pick, playing Pickler, even if I'm giving the points away. Uh, this move... Could play Kitchen Table. Could play Lasso. I think, though, it's pretty clear I should go for a baking game rather than an animals game. So, Lasso is more of an animals game, whereas 
kitchen table is more of a baking game. Tavern is a solid point ceiling card, but with Stone Baron, it's unlikely I'll have enough stone to want to play Tavern. It's going to be better for me just to get to a stone house. Um, Millstone does give extra food, which is something. I think all three of these are cards that I'm kind of okay with throwing away. And this pick, again, probably cards that I'm okay with throwing away. Don't think I'm playing Powder Keg. I might want to free upholstery. I might want that. Probably I'm throwing it away, but it might be a start player action in round one, maybe. Although if I'm start playering in round one, it's probably after three wood, in which case I'd play Reed Exchange first, or Granary. Uh, probably not Granary, maybe, maybe Reed Exchange. Actually, let's think about that. So if I got three wood round one, then I could start player read exchange, have four read, have or have two read. I could take two read, have four read, and then I could play three, four wood occupations and have 11 wood. And then I play borrower to feed my farm and feed those occupations. Yeah, that would be pretty good. And taking two read would almost guarantee that I get the first room. We'll see. I should... I should definitely focus on getting the first room. That should be a priority for me. Because this is a game where I will have lots of good stuff that I will like to do. So then I should try to make sure that... Uh, I should make sure that I'm available to take advantage. Quatanin's first action haberdasher. So I wonder if Quatanin's maybe took um, Baker Servant, first pick Baker Servant. So then getting the ability to start player plus plow plus bake would be a pretty solid combination. We get reedstone food with our first move. Do we prefer three wood? I don't think so. Not with uh, all these uh, four wood improvements and not considering that I want to play bagers. So circus manager here for shoot. Ooh, Quatinens goes for day labor here. Doesn't want two wood, doesn't want two clay. Hmm. What do they have? Um, should I start player here? Start player upholstery? I feel like upgrading my two actions next round are better than, like if I get occupation plus a good action, that's better than taking two wood here. <laughs> so giving up two wood is worth upgrading both my actions next round, I think. Especially because it's pretty likely that shoot will second action occupation with circus manager. So therefore, I'm going to have... Oh, never mind. Circus manager, he goes after me. What am I saying? I just took star player. <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, Reedstone food again looks good. Since there's a chance occupation comes back, and if occupation doesn't come back, three wood or two read will. So all of those are good for me. Fofo's got Puppeteer. All right. 
So, I wonder if shoot first action took uh, Circus Manager. Hoping that Puppeteer would not get played. But boy, am I wishing I took Puppeteer. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that's going to be pretty good for uh, for both of them, honestly. Like, Circus Manager is going to help him pursue the Reeve. And Fofo's got Puppeteer. So, yeah, pretty good. But I've had an excellent start. Maybe I don't play the Reeve. Maybe I play Village Elder and Pickler. And I don't play the Reeve. And then I don't play Master Shepherd. Thing is, I like all my occupations, so playing seven of them, playing seven of them doesn't seem like a big drawback. I could always hold Reeve until later in the game as well, see how the game uh, develops. So Quatidin's also played Permaculturist here, so he's going to be able to sow and play miners. So what miner is he going to want to play? right after sewing, maybe something like the France card miner that makes your occupations cheaper, but you have to have a grain field. Maybe he's got something like straw thatched roof or straw thatched hut. Fofo gonna start player fishing rod here. So shoot probably plays an occupation, which lets Fofo play an occupation. Here's fishing rod. And then master huntsman. Okay, that's a pretty solid one. And then Fofo plays lady in waiting. That is also a very solid card. And Fofo grabs the four food fishing. Makes a ton of sense. Quatinin is going to go ahead and play Cheapskate here. So Quatinin is really pushing out occupations as well. Vineyard Labor and Artist Garden. Oh, nice combo. All right. Looks good. So he can sow grain and he can sow wood and food and harvest one of them every round. Very nice. Nice combo there. Uh, Reedstone food again is available. Or do we set up for building the first room? I think shoot will probably build the fireplace because I think probably four clay gets grabbed. So I think we can afford to Reedstone food again. And uh, occupation probably doesn't come back. Although nobody wants expensive occupation. I could also build the well here. Yeah, Quatinens has got quite a nice game going here. So Fofo wants to pick up two reed next round to build a room. Quatinens is still a couple actions away. Focusing on getting stuff out of getting food from day labor. So that's hurting him a bit that he's having to do day labor a bunch of times. But otherwise looks good. Shoot builds the fireplace. All right. So uh, I could start player by just playing one of my four wood occupations seems like a good move here. Like I think I can play the pickler here. If I'm going to play one of Pickler or Reeve, I would rather play the Pickler. So 
So I can do something crazy like build a room and build the well in round four. That'd be a pretty strong... Whoa, Fofo going for wood again. Okay, Fofo has some way of dodging Reed. Or Fofo is not planning on building a room. Definitely would have expected a two Reed action there. So shoot maybe picks up picks up the two reed here or no picks up three wood that's what shoot will do hmm well, I think building the room makes sense I don't mind sitting on start player I have good cards like broom the only question is what's my second action here is it occupation? Is it building the well? If I build the well and have to first action start player next round, I will not have an improvement to play. Yes, because I won't be able to play Granary. I won't be able to play Wild Fruit. Uh, I guess I could play Broom, but I don't want to play Broom before Wild Fruit and Granary. Those definitely come out first. I uh, won't be able to play Reed Exchange. Won't be able to play Grain Cart. Won't be able to play Millstone. So yeah, it doesn't seem like um, doesn't seem like that's the answer. I could play Borrower with this move. Play Borrower and then and then I have food to play uh, Four Wood Occupation next round. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it works. I'm not totally sure. We could check the Permaculturist Compendium to see if there are any comments about it. Oh, it says read nursery not allowed. Uh, okay. Um, let's check the text of read nursery. Uh, Thing is, as soon as I say this, Quatidus is just going to rage quit, which is the problem.
Ooh. Hmm. That's true. Renursery does say so in your fields. And permaculturist is not sowing into fields. Yeah, because it's the in your fields part. Okay, uh, so we'll go ahead and play borrower here. Minus one food, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then feed four. And I am able to stable block if somebody tries to do any nonsense, but I get family growth around five, which is, all right, this is gonna be a good game. Yeah, seems like it should be really strong for Quatanins to set up. I like it. Permaculturist plus vineyard labor. Very nice. It looks like they did have a discussion in here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's been established clearly. We'll go ahead and play wild fruit here. And I will not pay a read. I'm because I'm gonna build again, so I don't want to spend my read on other stuff. Definitely now thinking how can I build again as soon as possible. So playing another occupation seems like a good idea. Playing uh playing Reeve with my next move looks good. So here's my wild fruit. Quatanin's building a cooking hearth. All right. Shoot maybe takes the sheep in, in that event. So we do get occupation back. So we'll go ahead and play our reeve. We're just going to play all the race cards. Race, race, race. So shoot doesn't have to first action build, but I can grow ahead of Quatanins. It requires me to take start player, but I don't mind taking start player. Shoot could take two read here and double build. That is an option for shoot. Now they're gonna maybe play it play it a little safe there. Okay, well, 
I'm not showing any read on my supply, so I think I can take the wood here and then start player read exchange to build our room next round. And if anyone other, like if Quatinins doesn't, like Quatinins probably takes wood with their next move, or maybe sows. Oh, they could sow and then trigger vineyard labor and then artist a wood. That would be a way to get to five wood. Okay. Fofo built family gross, of course. Yeah. Plays brazier. Quatnins will take three wood, I bet. Do I want to read exchange and start using upholstery? Hmm. Am I going to build a fifth room? I guess that's what it kind of depends on. I'm probably not going to build a fifth room, right? There's pretty diminishing returns on that fifth room. Probably it'll be much better to set up my trailblazer combo. Ooh, shoot's going to double grow with boarding school. Very nice. Okay, so that means I get to build a room ahead of Quatinin's next round. So if I get to build a, a room ahead of them no matter what, I don't, I'm not getting a major minor action. So I should take two read. And then my other move should be taking wood again. Take as much wood as I can. If also, I also want to play granary. Shoot's got a first action start player into family growth into family growth so that means i will have to start player at some point so that means i'm gonna first move get six clay yeah six clay looks pretty good i think i like six clay ahead of building a room with my first move. The six clay is obviously fantastic. Big points, granary, etc. Sets me up nicely to build a stone oven, that kind of thing. Or Reno plus well. So yeah, shoot's got gonna start player with his first move. Yeah. Looks nice. Nice setup by shoot. Go ahead and take the six clay. Quatinins will build a room here. That's fine. Can't re really can't pay for all when you've got sewn stuff on the yeah. Exactly. And then shoot p playing probiotic food. All right. Well, I don't think I want to take three wood because I want to let, um, I want to let the wood come back. Um, I could play an occupation, but if I play an occupation, I also have to pick up food. I could reno and granary, but if I reno and grant, if I reno, I'm not uh, collecting on other stuff. I think what we'll do here is I'll go ahead and play Granary with this action and pay three clay. Whoops, not sheep.
and pay a reed for upholstery. So if I first action start player, Quatinens is obligated to stable block to keep me from growing ahead of him, which is not great, but I also do need to set up my feeding. Quatinens is playing cook pot here. How? On Reno? No one so okay, I see. That's fun. This is a fun farm. Very fun farm. Lots of wood. Very fun farm. Um What should I do here? I didn't plan this out very well. I should have had a plan for this move before I did my, um, well, uh, my uh, granary. So I think I need to take food here because I think I'm gonna need to bake before the end of the round, before the end of round nine. So I think taking a grain here makes sense. And then feed six. And then when I harvest at the start, when I pick up the grain at the start of the round, I collect on my wild fruit. Oh, I can collect on my wild fruit now, actually, plus F wild fruit. And then I'll pick up another at the start of the round with my granary. So I'll pick up four wood if it comes to me. This is going to be a game where we're going to need as much wood as we can get. Even though wood collector, two four wood occupations, and vineyard labor is putting a good amount of wood into the game, I'm going to want to just put more, 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 more. I'm going to always want more to be in the game. So yeah, start player read exchange is my uh, another potential first move. I could read exchange ahead of taking four wood. Four wood is a good move though. Quatinens really does not want to stable block me. Or maybe they don't care. Hard to say. Hard to judge what the thinking is. I could start player Millstone. Millstone will be worth a lot of food. Millstone into building the clay oven. And then each grain that I bake is seven food, which is quite, quite reasonable. Bee statue, he had clay. Oh, he discarded probiotic to pay for it. I see. Uh, don't pay a read. So play Millstone here. See if Quatinens is going to stable block me. Fofo goes for fishing. Was there four food on fishing?
Yeah, I might even get forward back. Oh, he's gonna play back door. Okay. That works. Alright. That works very nicely. Well, I'm pretty happy seeing back door. Because now I can take forward with my second move. And uh, the only person who can jump me to build a room is if Fofo takes Reed and then builds a room. So I have the opportunity to respond to Fofo taking, taking Reed. So I get that four wood either way. I guess if I don't take four wood here, there's a chance I get six wood at the start of next round. Yeah, so you know what? I will build a room here. So I build a room and then if Fofo doesn't take this three wood here, that means I get six wood next round, which I'm pretty happy about. We'll go ahead and play clay oven and bake a grain to seven food. And then on family growth, I'll play read exchange. Yeah, that looks good. And then the other card can come later. Whoa, Fofo went up right to a stone house. I missed, oh, he played conservator in response to uh, traveling players and then went up to a stone house and shoot played cattle rancher pay one food for a cattle nice oh so these guys got they have some really nice games going here but i am very happy to take six wood at the start of this round very happy to do so um and then i can play trailblazer and then i can family growth Looks like three good actions. Yeah, shoot's got our uh, Fofo's got a nice game here. Um, yeah. So after playing Trailblazer, I really like So Bake in round ten, and then after taking Vegetable, I really like So Bake round eleven, or well, just So. It would be a So plus a Plow action with my Pickler. Uh, four clay is fine. Uh, the sheep are not really worth anything to me. So yeah, we're going to trailblaze with this move. Whoops, oh, the wrong way. Minus a food, not plus a food. I wonder if I should play grain cart. <sighs> Am I going to need the food? So at the start of round 10, I'll have two grain. I can sow one of them, bake one of them. And then I will harvest a grain. And then start of round 12, I will have two grain in my supply. I can still sow one and bake one. So yeah, I don't think I need grain cart at this point. Obviously, if I want to convert to stone oven, it's good. But considering the fact that I've grained a, one grain to seven food with millstone, like that's that's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure read exchange works here.
Pretty sure I can upholster here. I think it works. And then feed seven. Then field for, or F for a field. And then pick up my last wild fruits. Fofo is going to have a nice complete farm, four or five family members, nice, lots of covered spaces. They probably took like turn rest plow, I'm guessing. Turn rest plow would have been really nice for their game. I've got 12 wood still. I can pick up two wood from my village elder. I've still got broom in hand, so that of course costs wood, but I don't really need that much more wood this game. I need like a four wood action or two three wood actions and that's going to be pretty close to everything that I need. Or like a three wood and a two wood action will probably be fine. The well is still available, stone oven still available. Actually all the good stone, expensive stone improvements are still available. Part of that is because stone came late and the three stone got used by Fofo to go to a stone house which is kind of crazy. And we've also got cook pot, of course. And I played millstone. So we've got little uses for it. So shoot is playing his uh, boarding school occupations now. Bone collector and mailman. So bone collector with the cattle rancher means he can get, you know, extra food and a wood on day labor. Mailman, I'll be interested to see where the ma mailman resources go. And what was the action that he took? I don't see the action. Well, so you can tell I'm doing well when these guys have all played stuff that helps them play occupations and I still have the same number of played occupations as them. We've got circus manager, puppeteer, cheapskate. And I'm keeping up in the occupation race and I only need three more to play seven so Quatinins does have prize squash all right so Quatinins is going to go crazy on the uh, vegetables whoa there's a five clay and two wood action available I should probably take that right That looks pretty good. Pay shoot. Boarding school totally just grew his family there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, five clay and two wood is a pretty good action. Thank you to shoot for giving me that. So there, that's where mailman is not good when you when that stuff like that happens. Three fields with crooked plow, nice. So yeah, Quantinins is going to have a nice game. Lots of bonus points. Prize Squash will be worth a lot. He hits, almost certainly wins Pickler. So 
So bake a grain into seven food. Pretty solid. Um, I could pick up two stone and build and reno well. Kind of like the sound of that. Fofo playing part time builder here. Can I get two stone from Stone Baron still? No, Stone Baron doesn't give any stone anymore. So it's coming at the end of the game now. Well, I could read stone food and then pottery. Or... No, I only want a pottery if I get the six clay. So I could six clay and then pottery. Broom and elder, fun, yeah. Yeah, it's a good uh, combination, that's for sure. I kind of like the idea of playing pottery here. Quatinens plays unicycle driver, sure. Um, there's also four reed available. So I could maybe, yeah, okay, shoot just took the clay, all right. So I could think about stone oven, but I would build this, not want to build a stone oven here. Um, I think we read stone food either way. Read stone food and then basket makers workshop maybe, or read stone food and then four read, and then be ready to reno basket makers workshop next round. Although Basket Maker's Workshop is quite a bit worse with upholstery in hand, but... It's still probably okay. The one, the one grain baking is not going to be enough food all the way the rest of the way. Like, seven food isn't even enough for this harvest, let alone, um, you know, round 14. So some extra food would be good, especially because of Trailblazer. Trailblazer's eating some extra food. Could build a fifth room, have the resources, and wood shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I could do that too. And then play broom next round. The only question is feeding in this harvest gets a little ugly if I build another room. That's kind of my concern. But certainly playing another family growth action would be pretty solid. I mean, no one's building here, so I could always decide on building next round. I could take the four reed, and it can either go towards building a room, or it can go to and and then uh, upholstery, or it can go towards the basket maker's workshop. I think it's fine. Maybe broom pulls a food miner. Yeah, maybe. Upholstery is any improvement, right? Yeah, not just minor improvements. They're on three family members. My fifth action will be good. Um, I mean, my fifth action. Yeah, like I, I guess with baking, that's like a pretty solid, not competitive way to feed. Only concern being that. Uh, yeah, I, and you know what? I like getting. I probably like I my concern is getting to a stone house if I do that. That's my main concern, I think. Is can I can I build another room and still hit a stone house? I almost want to first action take vegetable here so that I can sow it and trailblaze again. I also like reed stone food because of the well and because of stone oven and because of getting to a stone house.
I could do Reedstone Food, Build a Room, Family Growth, Reno Basket Makers Workshop. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not hitting Pickler anyways, so I don't think over committing to P Pickler too much is is worth any is worth much. Quantitative is definitely be, be, beating uh, beating me to Pickler. It's just a question of does he want to let me tie for it? Like if he doesn't want to let me tie, I won't be able to. Borrowed plow. Plow two fields, pay one wood to the player on your right. So I get a, a wood here from Fofo. Yeah. And that plow, plowing should be pretty easy. Fifth room, six fields, 12 fences should be pretty doable. Yeah, I like another room here. Leave my last action available to potentially reno or take food somehow. I might be able to pull off like a five point upholstery here. And if I can do that, that'd be pretty solid. Although there are diminishing returns if I also build the basket makers workshop. Which, I mean, I can do both. Three more read, plus Basket Maker's Workshop, plus the room. So I would need to, I would basically need to keep going on the Reedstone food space all the rest of the game, which if I have five family members, I don't mind doing. But if I don't get it, then that's where we get some problems. I already took that wood. We'll go ahead and build a room here. Yeah, if Plowso is round 12, that'll be pretty good for me. Because I definitely don't want the my opponents to grow a lot. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Very nice for Quatanins here. Very nice game. Cool combo, Permaculturist plus Vineyard Labor, and then plays Grain Cellar. Very nice. Very nice. So it just needs to feed uh, fence reasonably and gonna have a pretty massive game they are capped a little bit on their rooms and family members but prize squash is gonna be nice point ceiling all right let's see what we hit for broom We will pay a read for upholstery. Uh, ooh, Flat Hill could be pretty good. No pasture, no bakery. But I can play bakery later. What's Foresight do again? Next improvement you play costs two building resources left. That works. That works just fine. And upholster on foresight as well. And then we can uh, build the basket makers workshop. And if we don't get basket makers workshop, we traveling players, I guess. That would be fine as well. Yeah, we can definitely play bakery if we need some extra food. 
Although the stone is a little hard, but. Don't mind that so much, I don't think. I think I'll save. Uh, there's lots of stone still available, but I would like stone. So I think I'll save uh, two stone and spend two reed here. Mm. No, maybe I spend a reed and a stone. And then I feed six food plus a reed. Feed six and a read, yeah. So Wild Fruits has got a point on it. I can mark that now. Quatidens likes Plowso here, Pro so probably Plowso, I would think. They want to get their number of fields up for their prize squash. Quat um, Fofo getting the cattle though. Fofo's got a really nice game. Gonna have a very high scoring farm. Did somebody go on plow last round? How did he get the extra? How did he get his third stable? Did Fofo build a stable at some point? No, I don't think so. Someone must have taken plow, I'm guessing. And I just missed it. Quatinins took plow last round. Okay, that's what it is. All right, so we're trying to make Flat Hill work here. Uh, do I need to sow bake with this move? I don't think so. I think I can afford to take four wood here. Four wood, sow bake, vegetable. If we could start player Flat Hill, that would be amazing. Start player Flat Hill round 13. It'll be expensive to pull off, but I think it's doable. I also need to play three more occupations, which is a bit of a challenge. So I should plan to play Master Shepherd. I should pl plan to play one per round for the rest of the game. Play Master Shepherd first. Yeah, I need to hit the Reeve bonus. With this many actions, I have to hit. All I have to hit as many as I can which I should be able to hit Reeve, and I, sh I should get village sole ownership of Village Elder. Also, the fact that two of the players have done fen have fenced 15 already is good for me. Quatinins can fence more, but I think they uh, uh, will prefer to plow more fields for more prize squash procs. So... I think we're doing this here. Uh, no, you know, no one else cares about. Well, actually, Quatidids cares a little bit. Although he converts really efficiently. No, I don't need to so bake here. Let's play an occupation. We'll go ahead and play. Um, go ahead and play Master Shepherd here.
if I okay, Fofo is playing turn rest plow here on start player. I I could have maybe start playered there because if I start player there, then I could have first action plow so. The thing is, I don't have enough crops to get four planted fields. I would have had to take vegetable and grain. And then I would have not been able to bake grain. Well, I could have baked one, and if I took vegetable and grain. But then I'd, I'm not gaining a baking bake action. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I could just play break baker, bakery here for four food and then, or for eight food total. Which seems okay. If I think I'm not going to need this clay, at least. Do want a reedstone food still? Reedstone food, vegetable, so bake. Or should I fen uh, no fence next round because fence is not available. Definitely so bake. And I think sowing the grain makes sense with bakery. Oh, Quatinens took reedstone food. Okay, so I probably have to take two reed then. I really need to make sure I get to a stone house. Stone Baron has to get me two points. Has to. It should be a five point card. It should get me Reeve plus the two points from playing it. Uh, take a veg, I guess. Yeah, these guys are having really nice games. Really nice games. Look at how complete their all their farms are in round 12. Man, I got some catching up to do. I mean, I do have a four-point upholstery already. And I'm ready to do all my fencing. Or almost all my fencing. So I'm not doing badly by any stretch. But I could be doing better. So maybe so bake and tech pick up two reed. Two reed is probably three food and a point. I want to make sure I keep one reed available to for my stone house reno, because my goal is uh, flat hill and then reno to stone in round fourteen, and flat hill can come out in round fourteen or later, depending. Bake one for seven. Fofo plays Hoarder, and then Shoot plays Hasty Trader. Okay, so they must almost be maxed out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, he's maxed out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so Fofo has only one occupation left to play, and uh, Quatinens has only one occupation left to play. So there are four occupation actions remaining. So just as long as I get on all of them, we should be okay. Uh, I could play Village Elder here, or I could take the two read that I was talking about. Two read seems like a low bar. I could probably hope for three read next round and play an expensive occupation here. Play Village Elder, get a wood. Shoot can tie me, but I have like another handful of improvements to play. So it seems like it's probably not going to be worth it for them to do so. Uh, pay a food for Trailblazer. Yeah, the, the only issue Quatinens has is he's going to be capped on how much, uh, how many animals he can hold. So he's going to have a bit of a point ceiling. Now, Prize Squash helps alleviate that quite a bit, but there is a point ceiling for his game, absolutely.
Quatenens. This is probably Start Player Schnapps Distillery, or this is, yeah, Start Player Schnapps Distillery. All right. So that means I'm not getting plows. So in the last round, Quatenens almost certainly will take it. Shoot, probably plow sows with this move. So I can plow one field. Although plowing a field is worse than just taking so. Uh, I think I actually take the three stone here. Yeah, three stone sets up my final, my reno to a stone house. Three stone, then take three reed maybe. Don't take reed stone food anymore. I would like to play bakery. Bakery would be a pretty good use for my clay, but also renovating and building a cooking hearth would be good use for my clay as well, so... I don't know. Those both seem okay. This is going to be so in playing Borrowed Plow. Yeah, Borrowed Plow is kind of annoying. The fact that it lets you plow two fields, so good, so good. Oh, he did it on sow as well, which means I don't get to sow, which means I don't get to trailblaze at the start of round 14. Hmm. That makes my uh, flat hill more difficult. Means I have to get on plow and then flat hill. Plow and then sow and then flat hill, which is a lot more involved. Unless shoot passes it to me. Shoot might reno borrowed plow, I guess, theoretically. So I should leave myself open to that. Be ready to receive borrowed, borrowed plow. But the thing is, then I have to first action sow bake. Which I might want to do anyways, because the bake action is pretty good for me. Hmm. Stone oven is still available, but I don't have any grain to bake right now. I do need more food before the next harvest. Need to sink here. I have to get to a stone house, otherwise Stone Baron is really not worth playing. Take the six clay and build a cooking hearth. Build a cooking hearth which lets me eat the sheep. And then I pick up another sheep round 14 if I'm not going to get my fencing done before then. I also have amusement park. Amusement park is a good car. I have a lot of free miners here, free points here. Amusement park, straw thatched roof, both very good. Yeah, I think I have to give up on flat hill, unfortunately. Not getting so baked there was critical. Unless, I, like I said, unless shoot passes me borrowed plow. But if shoot passes me borrowed plow, with all the clay I have, playing flat hill is like not worth it anymore. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I was supposed to play, not take clay. I should have taken reed there. Because if shoot renos and plays borrowed plow here, then borrowed plow is like not good for me. Like, yeah, it's pretty expensive for me to play, I guess. I, I, yeah, okay. Uh, Reedstone food. 
Get an extra food here. Uh, I guess the stone is only worth something if I play bakery. Am I going to play bakery? No, nah, I'm not going to play bakery. I could, but I think playing the cooking hearth is just as good. Or almost as good. Playing the bakery would be best, but... Also, Quatinin's played his seventh occupation. So all four of us are going to be at seven occupations. That's a round five family growth game with a ridiculous amount of wood injected into it for you. Ridiculous amount. And a bunch of very good occupations. Very, very strong. Fofo plays his occupation. All right. So I'm the only one. So I have uncontested access to playing Stone Baron in round seven. Excuse me, to playing Stone Baron in round 14. Because all these guys have emptied their hands of occupations. So that's good. So round 14, I'm playing Stone Baron for five points. Pay a read for a point. So that's my last upholstery point that I have available to me. Holster. So I eat a sheep and a reed for 10 food. And then my last move, I could fence here. Yeah, fence seems fine. Although I could take wood before I fence. Could take three wood and then take, and then fence next round. Nice thing about fencing is I have access to these pairs of animals. Fence thirteen. Five food, read, and then a sheep. And its first action sows. That is a problem. Uh, that's a big problem. Because that means I don't get to bake. Okay. So I should be going for the stone oven. To build the stone oven, I have to take two reed and then read stone food. And then reno stone oven. Which I can do. That's three moves though. Three moves to get a bake action.
How do I feed? I have to think here. I could take two cattle and uh, maybe get two boar back and eat one cattle, one boar. That's uh, seven food. And then... So if I take two stone and then read stone food, I could bake two grain into 11 food and then eat a reed for 14 and then I would need another four food to pay off borrower or another two food to pay off borrower, which probably would just be two raw grain. And then I need another food to play stone baron. So two reed, reed stone food, reno stone, two reed, reed stone food, reno stone, and then stone baron. So I don't really have time to do anything else if I do that, that sequence. And it can be screwed up by anyone building the stone oven. I could just build the stone oven with this action, get the stone later to reno. I think plow so. And then getting pairs of animals. Thing is, what happens if I don't get pairs of animals? That's what the issue. If I don't get pairs of animals, I'm going to starve. Go for the two cattle. Oh. Yeah, not getting on uh, Plow So enough, or not getting on So Bake last round was devastating. Devastatingly bad. I really did not count on Quatinins to Plow So as much as they did. Or to So Bake as much as they did. Because Quatinins has got like. 13 grain he doesn't need to bake like has zero need to bake because he could turn you know 12 of that into three cattle for 12 food and there you go there's all your food right there so i don't really get why they're doing so bake so much i guess because they want to play miners is the thing Shoot is passing me the borrowed plow. So this is probably on Reno Major. So that means I don't even get Reno Major. Oh, oh, I'm so close to a ridiculous game, but it's just not going to come through. Yeah. Uh. Well, do I want to give up on a ton of points? That's too bad. Too bad. I mean, I'm going to have a pretty solid 
score, but I'm going to lose to my opponents who have even better scores. My five room stone house is going to be nice, but it's not going to be nice enough. I'm going to end up having to eat too many points at the end of the game. So if I eat two cattle, two boar, that's 14 food, and then a reed stone food. I'm well, definitely going to do a reed stone food action, because that's four food right there. Yeah, this is frustrating. This is a frustrating game. And then stone baron and reno. I'm going to have to eat all my points here. Yeah, we just kind of got wrecked by Quatinin's first action, so baking every round. Our Trailblazer really got just to totally demolished. Our Trailblazer and our Millstone. I should have left myself open to building the Stone Oven. That was a mistake not to be in that situation, I think. Not in the situation where I could have done that. And I didn't play any of these miners that I drew from... Well, I played one. I played uh, Foresight, and that was it. Uh, that sucks. Alright, so Reed is three food. And then four grain, seven, then one cattle, 11, one boar, 14, and then I need another two food. So I guess I'll go ahead and eat a sheep to hit 16. Get all my points to pay off borrower. That sucks. That really sucks. Oh well. Two point stone baron, three point village elder, three point reeve. I'm gonna have a good good score, but that's because there's like a ridiculous amount of global points in the game. So I score six, six, whatever I score plus fourteen, so fifty-two. So yeah, 52 is good, but not enough. Tie. Three. Fofo just keeps increasing his score. Okay. Yeah, so we were not far off. We only lost by three points, but man, we just need one so bake action and we win. Just one extra so bake action. This game is not close. If I get one more. If I just get one more. So big action. Uh, 
This hand was really good. This hand should have won. Yeah, like the fact that I had to first action so bake was. And even when I wanted to first action so bake round 14, I don't even get it. Like. Oh. It's really irritating. The thing is, what was he, like, so, okay, he used it to play full bottomed wig, and then what did he actually sow? Did he sow, like, two vegetables, and that was it? I mean, the t sowing the two vegetables is two points, and playing the improvement is a third point, but, ah. Uh. The fact that I ate a bunch of stuff raw, I probably probably is a sign I should have plow sowed. Because plow sow gets me an extra three food just from vegetables. And then I would have sown another grain. Although sowing that extra grain does not increase my points at all because it would go up to three. I would have go up to three. Although then I could keep a sheep and eat a boar instead and have an extra grain. Oh, man. This is a really disappointing game. Oh, well. That happens. Yeah, the thing is, if I hit, if I hit so bake in round 13, then I can play flat hill in round 14 and then I don't have to take the clay action and I could take grain or take or do something else plus the bakes are huge the bakes are the number one way I'm feeding until I make the cooking hearth so getting no bake actions in the last two rounds was brutal yeah uh, that sucks Yeah, I maybe didn't foresight the right resources as well. That's another mistake that I probably made is that probably foresight should have gone to a different... Instead of getting a Mia Reed and a stone, it probably should have just got me two stone. Because getting the stone gives me easier access to stone oven and easier access to playing the bakery. Both cards would have been good for me. Both bakery and stone oven were really good for me. And I didn't play either of them. Oh, that's a frustrating game. This should have been a win. I mean, this combo was ridiculous. The permaculturist plus vineyard labor. That's a ridiculous combo. And uh, green seller is obviously a fantastic card. That's just a really, really solid card, but... Yeah, I guess I was a little unlucky. Like we've got this, we've got that ridiculous combo, and then we've got the puppeteer circus manager interaction. Like they were kind of feeding each other, so that's irritating for me as well. Yeah, just the fact that Quatrains was first action so baking. Uh, 
I hate it. Oh well, that's all for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Um, I'll stream tomorrow. Similar time as I started today, hopefully a bit earlier. I've been um, getting a little lazy about going on and uh, and because of that, uh, I'm missing out on like the noon games. Usually there's games going on at like noon Eastern and uh, I really want to get in on those because if I don't hit those then usually you have to wait an hour until those games are done and then hopefully get into a second game with people. So yeah, hopefully do that a little earlier. So uh, yeah, tomorrow um, I'll stream. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, yeah, hopefully I can play better tomorrow. Two close losses. Two close losses today. Like you can see, like that trailblazing one more time is two points just immediately. And then baking one more time is like so many more. Like it's, it's a point there easily, maybe two points. So that would be it like one field plus two points. That's enough for the win outright. Uh, oh well okay yeah so uh thanks very much for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this little video and i'll see you tomorrow bye